Welcome to Midwest Sportsnet. I'm Joey McWilliams, and we are continuing to preview the college football season in 2021, and we get to visit now with Will Finley, who is the head coach of the Waldorf Warriors. Coach, your third season there in Forest City, second season as head coach, and you did get you know, a season in last year. I want to talk about that just a little bit later on, but you're right in the middle of camp right now, so tell us what's happening at camp with Waldorf. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're just excited our guys are back, and and it's been very competitive in camp. It's been it's been warm here in North Iowa, but <laughs> it's uh, you know we have a scrimmage tomorrow versus Iowa Central, so we're kind of gearing up for that. It's just been good to be back around our guys because a lot of our guys go home and work in the summer, and so it's been good to kind of pick up where we left off after spring football. I know it's it's warm right now. I do know it's going to get cold in Iowa before everything's said and done. So <laughs> yeah. I never, I try never to complain about a warm day in Iowa because you know, <laughs> there's not very many of them. Well, Coach, you, you talk about getting to see the players again, and, and that's actually, I think, a pretty good thing. You, you got your season in in the fall, and, and a number of schools in the NAI played in the spring as well. I do want to give props to Waldorf and to the North Star for getting that schedule in in the fall. I thought that was a good deal. It, has that been something that you see the benefits from then once your kids have, have gotten back that they didn't have the the uh, the nicks and the dings during the spring? Yeah, I think it, it allowed our seniors and everyone to play their their – fall senior year and and for us to have a spring season and kind of prepare for the 2021 season and and I think spring ball really you can tell a difference I think coming into this fall compared to last year where we didn't have spring ball so that's been it's been not only good for the coaches to be you know have that spring football but also our players well, getting back into some kind of rhythm and I know that helps when you have players like Tovia Hill coming back uh, he carried the ball for more than 900 yards for you last year, more than 1,000 all-purpose yards. Uh, I believe he's also your leading returning receiver as well <laughs> in terms right. of receptions for your team. So the offense has to be off to a good start. Yeah, he's in. not only is he a good football player, but he's really developed as a leader within not only the running back room but on offense. And he's had a great camp. He's healthy, run around. He's made a lot of plays so far. So I look forward to – to see him, you know, on Saturday this fall. And, you know, we have Dom, Dominic Watt back at receiver, and he was he made some huge plays down the, you know, later in the season. And our, our first team All American kickers back was Slater Gifford and um, with a slew of other guys that contributed last year. So it's been a good camp and, and very competitive for our guys. Coach, when, when there's competition like that, I think one of the areas, you know, looking looking over your roster, it, it looks like that there is at least some youth, maybe some inexperience when it comes to the offensive line. Is that another area where there's competition right now? Absolutely. And, and you know, the, coming out of the spring, we had seven, eight, nine guys that we were working in and out. And we've added some freshmen that have come in and, and competed at a high level. And I think after our scrimmage tomorrow, we'll really be able to, set those seven, eight guys that are going to help us week in, week out. But, you know, Coach Reader's done a good job, our offensive line coach, and uh, bringing those guys together. And I think as long as they can all work work as one, um, you know, that's a good thing. I know there's nothing like having a scrimmage, something where you can actually see these players in, in motion and, and before you get to make some decisions heading into to week one, which is coming up right around the corner. We're speaking now with Will Finley from Waldorf here on Midwest Sports Net, where we cover small college sports and more. So please consider subscribing to the channel. Coach, you, you look on the defensive side now and, and you have a number of players coming back, including Edwards and McCobb. And, and I mentioned those two uh, to start with, but looking through what – your defense was able to do over the course of the season last year, your players just seem to make themselves at home in the opponent's backfield. I mean, so many tackles for loss, so many yards lost, and the defense really found a way to, to push the opponents back. Yeah, well, that's that's part of our saying here. It's it's our brand of football. We're gonna play fast, physical, and aggressive. And we're gonna we're gonna attack our opponent. We're not gonna sit back on our heels. And that's the style of play our we've adopted here and our guys have bought into it. And that's that's up to our players, you know, how, how they're going to, you know, perform every week. And, um, they've, 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 they've been getting after this, this fall and fall camp. We've really gelled the last three days defensively. And you know, we have nine returning starters guys that also a slew of guys that contributed last fall. And I told our offense, this is, this is great competition day in, day out, not only for our defense, but offensively. And 
it's all about getting better. Just, you know, bringing our best version of us every day. Well, I mentioned the, the the North Star and that you got the the season in last year, six and three in your first year as head coach, and and pretty close, I would say, nine games, pretty close to a full season. So that that has to be something good. Looking ahead, then, uh, well, where we are right now, as of today, you are nine days out from the season opener, and it's a home opener against Briar Cliff. And before the North Star season gets underway, you you also travel the next week to St. Ambrose. Those are a couple of in-state teams. And and I I realize non-conference is what it is before you get into league play, but that's something, too, that, you know, getting to face off against a couple of teams in-state, that has to be a pretty good way to start the season. Yeah, and and we schedule those on purpose. You know, (laughs) we want to recruit the best guys in Iowa, best players, and I thought the best way to do that is – you know, compete against some of the top teams in the state. And uh, I think it worked out really well. We're excited. Next week, next Saturday will be community night, 6 p.m. kickoff. Briarcliff has a new staff. Other than that, we don't really know much about them. And, they, you know, I don't know what they know about us. So it'll be it'll be a good first contest for, for both both teams. Coach, that that really is. I mean, that that's a big deal. I think that has to be across the board too. With with what the the season was last year, <clears throat> last year teams that played and teams that didn't, there have to be a lot of unknowns out there. And and you know, uh, with what you know about your team right now, then going in, uh, you know, ha, ha, are are they excited? How pumped are they? Getting ready nine days out now. Our guys are excited. They're tired of hitting each other. You know, you get, <laughs> right now everyone's kind of you know getting. They're tired and their legs are they're beat and. We've been doing wake ups and bed checks, and I think they're ready to get to a game week. School starts next week, and kind of get in a rhythm. This is the the fun part because we've really made it through camp as you know after tomorrow's scrimmage. So then we you know make all eyes on Briarcliff and and get ready for the season. All right, Coach. Well, good luck, success to you and to the Warriors this year. Again, August twenty eighth. That is next Saturday, six p.m. And it's going to be Briarcliff at Waldorf. Coach Will Finley, thank you very much for taking time with us today here on the Summit. We appreciate it. And, uh, you know, have a great season. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks for having us on and, and go Warriors.